Hello and welcome. You're watching News Made Easy on News Click. I'm Anindya Chakravarti and today I'm going to talk about the third wave. The National Institute of Disaster Management has warned the Indian government that there could be a third wave of COVID in September, October, peaking in October and we need to prepare for it. And this is inevitable unless the government ensures that there are enough restrictions, COVID uh, appropriate behavior continues. But we know anecdotally that is not happening. There are festivals where people turn up and thousands of people are walking around without masks. Many vaccinated people now believe that they're safe and therefore they've completely given up all COVID protocols. So there is a danger of a third wave coming again. Why is there a danger of third wave coming? Uh, three key reasons. Number one, slow pace of vaccination. Because in India today, uh, just about 10% of people, less than 10% of people, have got both doses of the vaccines. And one of the recent studies suggests that unless you've got both doses, your chances of being immune to COVID is very low. Let's say that that uh, is an outlier of a study and let's say that your chances improve if you have one uh, dose at least. Then even then, we have only approximately 43% of Indians who have got either one dose of a vaccine or both doses of vaccines. Now, that is not a bad number, but even then, it's not great because it still leaves, it still leaves about 57% of Indians with the potential of catching the disease. Unless one also takes into account those who've already got COVID. And that is something that I'm going to come to later. But so, here is the number one point. That uh, vaccination levels are low in India. Number two, those who got vaccinated, their immunity is going to drop over a period of time. Over months, it's going to drop and many have got vaccinated early, uh, maybe in uh, February, March and then April onwards, people have got vaccinated. So by October, it'll be six months, so their immunity will start dropping. And as I said, the third thing is variants, new variants. For India, one of the, uh, one of the uh, side effects of the, uh, the second wave, the, the killer second wave that we saw between April to June was a positive side effect was that a lot of people were already exposed to a variant, which is the Delta variant. But we know that the Delta Plus variant has come and the Delta Plus variant is believed to be, to have three, uh, uh, the reason why uh, doctors and experts are worried about is, is three reasons. Number one, it spreads extremely fast, supposedly even faster than Delta. And uh, it, uh, directly attacks receptors in the lungs and <coughs> we know in COVID lungs uh, get affected breathing trouble is one of the big issues in COVID and uh, the number three is that uh, antibodies monoclonal antibodies are appearing to be less effective against the Delta plus variant so the Delta plus variant could be one major reason if an, a, a third wave comes at all uh, there was a belief that the third wave could affect children the most because children are uh, those who children have not got vaccinated, children have not got exposed, schools were shut. So even if their parents were going out to work, they were shut inside their homes. Uh, Sero surveys, which study whether the level of antibodies in people, Sero surveys done both by AIMS and by ICMR recently, they point to the fact that children have got almost as many children have antibodies as adults. Because as you know, the ICMR Cero survey done in June, July said that 68% of Indians have the antibodies for COVID-19, which means they either had COVID-19, whether they knew it or not, whether they had symptoms or were asymptomatic, whether it was confirmed or not, or they got vaccinated and therefore they have these antibodies. And ICMR study suggests that uh, children too, have a significant number of children also have shown those antibodies. And the AIMS study also tells us that uh, children between uh, the age of 2 to uh, 17, they about 56% of them have these antibodies. So uh, effectively, children are already exposed, whether they got vaccinated or not. And we know none of them got vaccinated. So 56% of children, when the study, AIMS study was done in June, several months ago, at that time, already 
had, uh, this was done in four key states, already had uh, got exposed to the virus in some way or the other and had developed antibodies for it. So that is one reason it is believed that children might not be uh, affected significantly more than adults in the third wave if it comes at all. In fact, uh, uh, the top body of Indian pediatricians has said that there's no biological reason to believe that uh, children will be affected. And the new data suggests that there is no real reason to believe that children will be affected more. The only reason why experts believe that children could be affected is because after almost a year, schools have reopened in many states, especially in states which were badly affected. Schools have reopened with restrictions. But once schools reopen, what happens is the children's, children get together, they are getting exposed. So there is a chance that children will uh, get more children will get affected this time as we've seen in other countries where it has happened now the, uh, the National Institute of Disaster Management report very clearly tells states to be prepared for this and they say that states state governments and the center need to reorient on a war footing those are my words but that is what they mean uh, the way in which they deal with uh, COVID and children now, what does that mean? That means that equipment, for instance, scanners, <coughs> um, oxygen masks, those have to be uh, such that they are appropriate for children to use. Number two, in ICUs, in most places, only one patient can be there. But a child cannot be left alone. A child needs to be with their parents. So uh, the recommendation is to create hospital ICUs and beds where a child can be with one parent. So that is another crucial thing. Changes which have to be made and various state governments have already announced that they're doing it and they're making special arrangements so that children, if, if this comes, children uh, with that disease can be easily taken care of. We have the experience of the second wave. Hopefully the third wave will be, if it comes at all, will be less devastating. One more reason for us to believe that is simply because uh, ICMR Cero Survey, which I said, told us that 68% of Indians have already got exposed to the virus, whether it is through vaccination or through the infection itself. And that was done in June, July, and we are now at the almost at the end of August. So that 68% number, if one adds the number of people who got vaccinated after that, that number is creeping closer and closer to that 75-80%. Now, given that 75 to 80% of people, if they have developed antibodies, that should be close to a, uh, to a herd immunity uh, number. I know that uh, many scientists are now saying that herd immunity does not, is not valid for um, COVID at all. But I mean, if, if there is at all a herd immunity number of 80%, let's say, then I think uh, the data suggests that we are coming close to that, whether because we were exposed or whether because there's been vaccination. And that is because in many states, the level has already reached 80%. Um, by June, July, it was uh, Madhya Pradesh at 79%. Um, uh, uh, you know, country, uh, states like Uttar Pradesh had more than 70%. Various states had more than 70%. Many states have more than 60%. So by now, that number is reaching, including the fact that there's been a significant amount of at least one dose of vaccine given to people. And we should be reaching a space where People are unlikely to get symptoms. Yes, they could pass it on. Yes, they could give it to others. But if they don't get infected, the chances are that the virus will uh, not be able to spread as well. Let's hope that happens. And let's hope that we can go back to normal life as soon as possible. That's the show today. Keep watching News Clip and do subscribe to us.